Trevor, congratulations. What was your reaction to the win? Uh, good morning. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, always a great thing to get those kind of awards. It's not the first time for us. Um, always a great thing. It's hard to get the golds. Well, it's one of the best in the world, so you've obviously done something right. Which chocolate has t taken out that coveted award? So we got the gold for our 72% Padavaki. It's a single farmer chocolate, so from one island up in the north of the Solomon Islands. And what makes it so special? Uh, basically, it's a collaboration. Um, Kenny Padavaki is the result of a program by the Adventist Development Relief Agency to put cocoa farmers with chocolate makers so that we can give feedback on what we want out of cocoa. So um, that's proof that that program's worked fantastic. Uh, it's just attention to detail. And take us through the process. What does it take to make that special blend of chocolate? So we, we take about a week per batch. Um, we meticulously go through from the start of the week of hand sorting cocoa beans, getting rid of the ones we don't want, roasting slowly, um, then taking a whole week basically to conch it, massage the chocolate. So we just do everything the old fashioned way, really slow. It's not about the maximum amount of chocolate, it's about the best quality chocolate. Yeah, old fashioned is always uh, made with love. Now you're a family run business. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Um, so yeah, it's just myself and my wife and my mum chipping in every now and then. Uh, started back in 2012 in Sweden. I actually ran the chocolate factory in our basement of our house. We moved to Sweden, uh, to Australia in 2016 and reopened the business two years ago um, where my wife now works with me. So it's been a bit of a struggle, but we're getting there. And have you at all been affected by the pandemic? Oh, massively. Um, we were actually going to close the business in the beginning of April. We had recently scaled up production, brought bigger machines to go after new markets, which was supplying chefs with Australian Kovacha. Um, that all fell through instantly. We lost all of our contracts, everything within two days. So we had no idea how we were even going to pay our bills. So we just said that we're closing. Um, the general public got behind us. The Toowoomba community has been fantastic. And we just started pulling it all together and have been dealing with more farmers markets, more online sales, and somehow we've pulled through to this point. Well, I guess it makes that win uh, even more special. Have you been heartened by the response from locals that they're more willing to buy local in particular after this pandemic? Yeah, I mean, it's always been a topic of discussion, the whole buy Australian support local. And honestly, up until April, we, we heard a lot of it. We didn't see a, a whole lot of it. There's always a, some people that really do care. Um, I think this whole thing's really shaken people up where people want to get behind Australian stories, support real businesses and kind of weed out the businesses that aren't really doing what they say they're doing. Um, we're the real deal and there's a lot of other real Australian businesses out there that actually are Australian, run in Australia and make a real Australian product. So it's great to see. Yeah, absolutely. Just finally, uh, Trevor, so can people just hop into one of your stores and uh, buy the famous world-renowned chocolate? So we don't actually have our own shop yet. We actually signed a lease this morning on our first retail shop in Toowoomba. Um, the best place to get our stuff is either online through our web shop uh, or through one of our stockers that we have listed on our web shop. But we are running quite low on stock as Christmas comes up. I can imagine. Well, it's certainly been a very good few months for you then and uh, well done on the acquirement of a retail shop. Matisto Artesian and Chocolate. People can find out more online. Trevor Smith, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Domingo. Thanks for having me.